Kevin, and uh, I just wanted to uh, just say keep up the good work. I know you're you're kicking off the 90 day uh, you know jumpstart uh, your business plan, and I wanted to uh, kind of share some information with you uh, this morning or or for a moment about databases and the importance of creating databases. Um, we've probably had some discussions, if not we will in the future, about how important these databases are. So I thought I'd just uh, shoot you a quick little video and I've taken some notes and, and, and I wanted to share with you, make sure that we, uh, that we get you the information. So, you know, I'm going to start off with a question and I just want you to kind of, you know, visualize something for a minute. I mean, there, are, there, there is a group of people that you know. They know you, you know them. There's also a group of people that you don't know. And what you have to ask yourself, and we know the, the obvious answer is, um, um, but ask yourself, which group is bigger? You see that, you know, you have this group of people that you know, and then you have this group of people that you don't know, this huge group of people that you don't know. And what a lot of realtors do is they just focus on the people that they know, which is limited. And they don't go after this massive amount of, of business that's out there. And this is just the beginning of a conversation about databases because, you know, what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to develop a system where when you're getting to know new people, you can actually put them somewhere, nurture them over time, get to know them, and then later on they'll send you business. So because, you know, we're teaching you on how to lead generate, we're teaching you to prospect, you're going to be talking anywhere from 30, 40, 50 people per day. And, and of course, those people that you're going to be talking to, you're not going to know them. And only one or two of them on a daily basis is going to actually want to do something. So what that means is this. You get in here in the morning, you start doing your job, you start lead generating or prospecting, and you call 30 people. On a great day, if you call 32 people and get two people to say yes, that, hey, I'm thinking about selling and maybe I want to hire you, that means that 28 people said no. And what databases is all about, what we're discussing here now and what we're going to teach you, is we're going to teach you how to turn no's into commission checks in the future. See, it's easy to take somebody who says, yes, I want to sell, and go over there, list their property, put it on the market, do some marketing, and actually sell and get a commission check. That's the easy part. The art is, how do you actually take people who have said no, put them into a system, and over time turn them into people who will give you business? So I want to teach you on how to capitalize you know, on that energy and effort that you're putting forth in your business. Because you come in every day, and you start generating business, and you get all these people to say no, and you start talking to all these people, that takes a lot of energy. So what do we do with them? So here's what we're going to do. Number one, while prospecting, you're going to ask for emails. Now I'm going to teach you, I'm going to give you a script. I, I can give you a, a, a quick little script right now. And, and maybe that is you've cold called somebody and you've asked them if they wanted to sell and they said, no, we're going to stay here for a while. We have no interest in selling. You may say something like this. Okay, Mr. Uh, Mr. Smith, I do appreciate the time that you've taken. Um, you know, a couple moments that you've taken just to answer some of my questions. And I wanted you to know, though, that a lot of your neighbors in the community have requested that I actually give them um, updates as to what's going on in their community. You know, we, also, we, we know that in America, the slightest little shift in the economy could have a major impact on your investment and the value of your property. So I wanted to make sure that you got the same updates that they're getting. What is the best email I can send those to? Most of the time, people will give you their email address. And you've asked them, you've been up front, you said, hey, I'm going to send you updates. What email can I send them to? And they give you an email. That is just one way to get emails. I can share with you many, many other ways. But the number one task on how we build databases, number one, is ask everyone for their emails. Now think about this. If you have actually called 30 or 40 people today, and two people said, yes, congratulations, because you're about ready to make some money. But if you got the email addresses for the other 28, and over time we did something, we put them in the system, you will get business from them in the future. And that's the type of business that your competition, other realtors in town, are not getting right now. The second thing we need to do after we're getting their emails is we've got to place them in the database. Well, that's pretty obvious. I'm going to be talking to you a little bit later on in a, in a future video on what database categories you need to have because there's going to be actually more than one database. Right now, I just want to think of get their emails, put them in a, deep, in a database. And then number three, we're going to nurture them ongoing month after month for three, four, five years. 
I have people right now and other agents in this, in, in this office have probably gotten a piece of business in the last two weeks where somebody called them that they don't even remember their name, but somebody called them and said, hey, we spoke three years ago and you've been so kind at keeping me up to date as to what's going on in my community that I'm thinking about selling now and I'm just not going to use anybody but you. Now, as a realtor, that is a great phone call to get because today I might be prospecting and I might get my two yeses today. But randomly this afternoon, I just get some call from somebody who I had prospected three years ago that tells me they want to do business. See, if we will take these email addresses, put them in the database, and deliver good, valuable updates, good, valuable content, and we're educating them and keeping them informed, they're not going to forget us. As a matter of fact, they're going to look at you as an authority in the business, and people want to work with an authority. So, number one, we're going to get their email. Number two, we're going to put them in the database. And number three, we're going to nurture them. We're going to drip on them for years in hopes to turn them into somebody that's going to do business with us. So, what are we really doing here? You start off your morning and you prospect. You call somebody. When you call them, you don't know them. See, they're part of that big group that you don't know. They're kind of what we would, let's just describe them as a stranger. So, you're going to call a stranger. Over the course of that conversation, a couple minutes, you're going to establish enough rapport for them to give you their email address because they want to get your updates. They feel like you're going to deliver value to them. You get their email and over the next couple of months, we prove to them that you are an authority by giving them quality content, by sending them educational information that we develop in our office. So what you've done over three to six months is you will have turned that stranger into an acquaintance. Now, the acquaintance still doesn't want to do anything, but we're going to continue being committed to empowering these people with information, delivering value month after month. And in a year to two years, they will become an advocate. They will become somebody who views you as an authority and who then determines that if they need the real estate services or real estate services in general, that you are their go-to real estate agent. See, you've taken somebody that was originally a stranger, you've turned them into an acquaintance and then later turned them into an advocate and when they turn into advocates, that's where you make your commission checks. That's where you build your relationships. You see, you've already got advocates. Those are the people that you know. In today's real estate market, in this competitive business, it's all about taking that big group of people you don't know and turning them into advocates. And we're going to show you how to do that. So there's just one reason, it's probably the most significant reasons, why you need to be building your database today. I'm going to, again, I mentioned before, I will talk to you a little bit later on in a, in, a, in a future video on what databases to build. But as of right now, get to prospecting and start collecting emails. We'll talk soon.